everyone, and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? If you're doing well, you can show me with a thumbs up. If you're feeling okay, you can put your thumb in the middle. And if you're not feeling very well today, you can show me with a thumbs down. But hopefully after circle time is over, you'll be feeling better. So let's get started with our good morning song. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings, fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle, big stretch out in front. Now take the circle up over your head. We'll stretch on this side, over to the other side, last stretch up at the top, and now let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Welcome to circle time. I hope you're having a great day so far. Before we move on to the calendar and weather chart, we have to do three things. Number one, turn on our listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. Today my thinking hat has some buttons underneath my chin, so I'm going to button those all up. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts, like this. Boom, 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 boom. Let me grab my pointing stick and let's go over the date together. Earlier this week, we started a new month. Do you remember what the month is called? November. Today is November 4th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was November 3rd and today is November 4th and the year is 2021, but you can also say 2021. Let's take out our counting fingers and let's see how many days we've had so far in the month of November. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four. We've had four days so far in the month of November. If you keep your four fingers up, but add three more fingers. One, two, three. Now we have seven fingers and we're ready to sing the Days of the Week song. If you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week to go over together. So listen for the sound that this day starts with, and you can tell me what the day is. Yesterday was w. Wednesday. So that means that today is th. Thursday. And tomorrow will be th. Friday, the last day of the weekday. Let's go back and sing Today is Thursday together. It goes like this. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday all day long. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday all day long. Back up at the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season, friends? Fall. That's right, but you can also say autumn. And if we travel back down to the bottom, I have a picture of the weather. So let's sing the weather song together before we share what we see outside of the window. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Today, where I live, it's a cloudy day outside. When I look in the sky, it's gray and white, and my temperature chart is on light blue because it's chilly. 
a chilly and cloudy day where I live. And what about you? Do you also have a cloudy day or is the sun shining at your house? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Can you tell me the sound that this letter makes? Let's do that together. Qu. And what capital letter is this? Q. You're right. This is an uppercase Q. Q says qu. I wonder what we'll find today inside of the letter box. Inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter Qu. Q. I'll give you a few clues. If you think you know what it is, you can take a guess. This is a sound. This sound comes from a duck. Hmm, so what do ducks say? Let's see. Ducks say quack. Have you ever heard a duck quack before? Quack starts with the letter qu, q. This is how you write in uppercase qu, q. One more time. And here is the double digit number of the week. What number is this? Do you remember? 23. When you write the number 23, you have to write two numbers. Can you show me with your fingers what number you write first? Two. And after the number two, you write this number. Three. Two, three. Twenty-three. Let's count the number 23 together using the large bead frame. This is how you count the number 23 using the large bead frame. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. Two tens, three units, 23. Let's take a peek inside of the number box and see what we have to count today. I have all of this catnip. Mm, it has a really nice scent to it. And you can see that each stem has a few leaves on them. So let's count 23 leaves together. I'll put the rest of the stems right down there and start with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and one more makes 23. 23 leaves. When I look at this big pile of leaves, I'm looking for the smallest leaf, which seems to be right here. So here's the smallest leaf. Now I want to find the opposite. So the smallest, so the opposite of the smallest would be the largest or the biggest. And that seems to be right under here. The biggest leaf. The smallest and the biggest. We've gone over the letter and the number of the week. So let's move on to the sign of the week. Do you remember how to say story in sign language? Let's do that together. Story. One more time. Story. Have you ever run in a race before? A race is something that you do with other people when everyone runs as fast as they can 
and whoever makes it to the finish line first is the winner. So considering what you may know about a pig and a horse, who do you think would win in a race? Well, let's listen to the story and see if your prediction is correct. Today's short story is called The Pig and the Horse, which is inspired by, by the tortoise and the hare. Once upon a time, there was a pig and a horse. They were best friends. One day, the horse challenged the pig to a race and the pig agreed. Whoever crossed the finish line first would be the winner. On your mark, get set, go! The pig and the horse took off. But the horse was much faster and continued to gallop ahead of the pig who was trotting slowly behind. The horse looked behind and saw that the pig was going so slowly that the horse decided to take a quick nap underneath the tree. As the horse slept, the pig trotted slowly but surely closer and closer to the finish line until he finally crossed the finish line and was the winner. By the time the horse woke up, from his nap, he looked up and saw that the pig had won the race. The end. Was your prediction correct? Even though a horse is much faster than a pig, the pig still won the race, which shows how important it is to keep trying and never give up. Today we're going to be doing some racing using marbles or balls. Let's go! For today's work, we are going to be making a marble or a ball run. Now this was fairly simple to make. All I needed was a few empty paper towel or toilet paper rolls, some tape, a pair of scissors, and I'm using this little pom-pom right here, but you can also use a marble or a small golf ball. I took my pair of scissors and I cut the toilet paper rolls in half and then I used some tape and I taped them to the back of my number of the week. If you have a flat surface like this, you can make your, bar your marble run on that, or you can just tape them to the refrigerator, or you can tape the rolls onto a dishwasher. You probably don't want to tape them onto a wall because the tape may remove the paint when you take it off. So just check with your grown-up before finding a spot to tape your marble run. And I have my little pom-pom right here, and let's see what happens when I let go. Let's count down from three. Three, two, one. And there it went. Down, 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 and over to that side of the room. So friends, it took a few tries to get my marble run correct. I had to move it and adjust it. But once I was able to do that, I have it ready to go and it worked. Let's try it one more time. This time we're going to say ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. And that's how you make a marble or a ball run. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to Circle Time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give my video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. I'm also offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions as well as curriculum consultations, so feel free to reach out for more information. It's time to sing our goodbye song, so let's wave like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.